Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a, a good day today. Um, we've been working our way through the Bible, taking a, a different book each day, uh, covering the, hopefully the entire Bible by the time we finish. This is day 56 of this study. So we're now looking at Paul's letter to Titus. Um, this is a letter that was written around the mid-60s AD. It seems that Paul wrote quite a lot in, in that period, uh, and to quite a variety of people too. He had uh, actually left Titus on the island of Crete, where he was charged with the responsibility of bringing some order to the worshipping community there. It was a comparatively new church. He was called to appoint and ordain elders and uh, to make sure that the church was established on uh, sound foundations. A Crete in uh, Old Testament times had been quite famous. The Cretans were great travellers, they were skilled in a, in a whole variety of things, in the arts, pottery, poetry. Their civilization was well known around uh, the Mediterranean. So for a small island, it had been a place of great influence. But by the end of the Old Testament, they descended into divided communities who were known and sought after as mercenaries, uh, because they specialised in guerrilla warfare, that they learned uh, fighting in their in their hills. Titus had his work cut out for him, and I think Paul knew that. But he clearly thought that Titus was the man for the job. He says in chapter 1 verse 12, One of Crete's own prophets has said, Cretans are always liars, evil, evil brutes, lazy gluttons, and this saying is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply so that they will be sound in the faith. See, Paul makes the point that church leaders are held to high account. He sets out the standard quite early on in this letter to which they must live. But then the letter goes on to encourage Titus to teach everybody how to live well in purity and faith. And what's the good, uh, what's good for the, the pastor is good for those in the pews as well. So he says, be eager to do what is good. Be subject to the rulers and authorities, obedient, slandering no one, living peaceably, considerately and showing true humility towards others. He says avoid foolish controversies and arguments about the law. They are unprofitable and useless. Instead, seek to live in peace with everyone. That's a little summary of just what the message is that Paul's trying to get across here. So let's, let's pray together, shall we? Lord God, in all things we ask for more of your Holy Spirit. Help us day by day to set aside the things that irritate us, that aggravate us and cause a disharmony, so that we might be more in tune with you. Bless us to see the good in others and help us to walk in the ways of your word. We ask for Jesus' name's sake. Amen. Have a great day.